damn that boy can sing. You must be crazy. He good. You must be crazy. Drop So yes, we are back. It is of course your boy Just For Kicks with an X. Goddamn J, tell us what's next. Today is another beautiful day in the world of J, guys. Today I'm so excited to bring something to you, which is probably the Jordan 1 of the year. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But before all of that, y'all already know what to do when y'all step in here. Please make sure that you smash the subscribe button, guys. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are checking this out right now. And also, please make sure that you hit the notification bell to stay informed to everything that we're bringing to the channel. And also, guys, can you please make sure that you smash the like button for your boy Jay. Please make sure you hit the like button so that we can get this video out there, guys. Let's see if we get this video up to 200 likes. Hell no. Other than that, please make sure you follow me on my social medias. My social medias are underscore just for kicks on all platforms, man. That's Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to find me at, guys. It's underscore just for kicks. Please do not forget to accept the end. Other than that, let's keep on rolling. So, like I said today, guys, I have the Jordan one of the year, man. Listen, man, it's a consensus. And I'm not going to lie, I would say I would have to agree. But I know there's a bit of controversy with the shoes, so with no further ado, let's get into this unboxing and review. Let's get it. Blam, so here you have it. You see this beautiful Jordan 1 right here in this nice little Nike box right here, guys. And here you have it. The size tag reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Sale, black, dark, mocha in a size 10. My size, 170 bucks. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the box. Blam, so yes, it is true. Jada got another goddamn shoe, man. Right here you do see the Air Jordan 1 Dark Mochas. Can't wait to get into these guys. Let's check them out. All right, so laced and ready to go so I can give you guys a show. I do have the Air Jordan 1 Dark Mochas right here. As you guys can see before y'all get alarmed, I did go ahead and throw some pink laces in there to give you those Travis Scott vibes. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Yes, I believe Jordan Brand saw the success of the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott and decided to take this beautiful shoe right here and create it. They threw the brown on here, the dark mocha colorway, and I must say, these are succulent. These are, these are beautiful. I'm going to be honest, the color blocking on these, to me, is better than the Travis Scott's. Son, I'm just going to tell you this one time. Yes, sir. You want to keep working here. Stay off the drugs. Yes. I am being dead serious, guys. I really do like these more than the Travis Scott's. Um, I do not have the Travis Scott highest. The only Travis Scott that I do not have. I have all of the other shoes that he has. But that's not just because I don't have that shoe. Honestly, I just love this color blocking on Jordan 1s. To be honest with that hit of color on the back. These right here are crazy. I'm glad that they chose sale instead of white because it gives it that tone where you can throw different colors. I just feel like this is so dope, man. You do have that aged outsole look right there, guys. These are super fire. It does come dead stock lace with the uh, black lace on the inside and it also comes with some uh, 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 cream, what is it, the uh, sale laces as well with it, guys. These right here are it. Like, I don't really have like any complaints about this shoe at all. When you look at the quality on the toe box, of course, I'm gonna give you guys a closer look in a second. It is here. If you look at the sway on the back, it does have that booty backstroke motion in the ocean, guys. These right here are it. Like, these are it, man. Like, I'm so excited to add these to the collection, man. Shout out to the plug one time for giving me the early look on these guys for my own feet, man. Hey man, you 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 the realest. No said, I ain't even got to talk about it, man. And of course, a huge shout out to my brother Jay the Sneaker Guy, man. Hey, the inspiration for swapping these laces, man. Listen, yes, Travis Scott's came with pink laces in them, but listen, man, my boy inspired me to swap the laces out on these, man. Shout out to my boy Jay the Sneaker Guy. Please make sure that y'all follow that boy everywhere, man. Hey, he, he dropping that fire, man. But back to these shoes, guys. As far as resale value, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You better cop these ASAP Rocky, man. You better cop these guys, man. 
if you do not cop these soon, they will skyrocket on you. Yes, you can find them for pretty high prices right now, but we all know on release date that they will go down. And then guess what? They are going to shoot up like every other Jordan 1. Some Jordan 1s do start out slower as far as creeping up in resale, so do not panic. If these go up slowly, which I do not think they will, do not panic, guys. They will rise. They will go up. They will be. This is a $400, $500 shoe right here in the future. I give it a year. I'm going to be honest with you. These are fire, man. I'm sorry. If people don't feel that way, they're, they're, they're fucking crazy. Like, these are it, man. Especially when you throw some alternate laces in there. I have checked them out with the white laces that I would say I do kind of prefer the, the black laces or the pink alternates that I threw in. But I know you guys are still trying to make your decision. So let's take a little bit closer look with this King's Vision. Let's get it. Blam, so here you have it. You have the Air Jordan 1 Dark Mochas. Like I said, getting straight to it. As you guys can see, man, you do have this beautiful, beautiful suede right here, guys. It does have that beautiful motion that you want to see on these shoes, guys. You see that right there. These right here and the quality and craftsmanship on these are crazy. As you can see, I did throw those pink laces in there. And to me, these are fire. If you guys want to check out the quality on the toe box right there, you can see the quality is there. The toe box is super, super soft. I do have my shoe tree still inside. That's why it's not pressing down. But as you can see, you do have this dope black toe vibe-ish uh, 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 color blocking right here. On the tag, you do see you have that sale Nike Air. On the insoles, you do have a sale Nike Air as well. As you can see, I also do have those alternate sale laces that do go with the shoe. Right here, I think these really, really do bang with the pink laces inside, just like the Travis Scott's. You have an all black bottom, which is one of my favorites to keep it from getting super dirty. The midsole is sale as well. These right here are so fire. Let me know, are you guys feeling these with the close-up Kicks Vision view, man? These right here are definitely worth the money. If you're looking to cop these, do not sleep. But you guys see them, they're clean. Let's get back in front of the camera so we can get close to this on feet. Let's get it. All righty, so let me know down below what you guys think of these right here, man. These right here are honestly the Jordan one of the year to me, in my personal opinion. I've said that about a shoe or two others in this, man. I said that about the bio hack, but listen, I was wrong. This is definitely the Jordan one of the year, man. You guys let me know down below. Do you guys feel the same way about this shoe, man? Man, these are fire, man. Let me know down below, do you guys think, if you already have the Travis Scott's, that these are a shoe that you would not cop? Um, am I just copying these and am I hyping them up because they're uh, uh, not the Travis Scott's? I do not feel like it at all, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I have the other Travis Scott's and I know how I feel about those, but to me, I would still buy this even if I had the Travis Scott's, man. But I wanna go ahead and show you the own feet that I did with this, guys. Of course, I kept it simple today, guys. Just threw on some all black, to be honest, and just keep it moving and let the shoes do the talking like I usually say. So with no further ado, Let's get into this on feet review. Let's get it. And here we go. Please don't leave me alone, baby. Because without you, I die.
Yes, once again, did I lie, man? Y'all seen the scenery? Y'all seen these shoes? Let me know down below where you feel the pink laces inside of them. Honestly, I rock it either way, but these pink laces are super, super fire to me, guys. Let me know down below, like I said, what you think. Make sure you smash the like button. Like I said, let's get this video up to 200 likes, guys. And I got some more early reviews coming soon to the channel, man. Like I said, before you leave out of here, please make sure that you drop a comment down below and talk to your boy Jay. Smash, smash, smash the like button, man. I'm going to keep on saying it. But, guys, I would like to thank you all for your love and support, man. We're going to keep on grinding, keep pushing. We do have an early review. I believe these drop on Halloween, man, October 31st, man. So go ahead and start uh, uh, getting your money ready. Get your pockets ready, man. Get ready for the LO sneakers. But other than that, man, I appreciate y'all for stopping through the channel today. Thank y'all for y'all love and support. Make sure you cover up your face. It's been your boy Just for Kicks with an X. Y'all be blessed, man. Bye.